Hi everyone, welcome to the Piano Keys. I'm so glad that you're here. In this video, I'll be playing for you my easy piano arrangement of June from The Seasons by Tchaikovsky. If you're new here, I'm so glad to have you. I use this channel to reach people all over the world who want a high quality music education without years of lessons. And I do this through tutorials, videos, and courses that are designed to help you reach your piano goals in the shortest amount of time. So no crazy promises, just real results. Before I play this piece for you, I want to give you a little bit of backstory on Tchaikovsky and this piece because sometimes we forget that composers were actual human beings with lives. If you want to see the performance first, you can go to this time code, listen to it, and then come back here and see what I have to say. You might find it interesting. Pyotr Ilyich Tchaikovsky was a Russian composer and he lived from 1840 to 1893, so smack dab in the middle of the Romantic period of music. Not only was he the first Russian composer who became famous all around the world, he's probably the most famous Russian composer that ever lived. He has a huge range of compositions from solo pieces for piano to chamber works to symphonies to concertos, operas, and of course, who can forget his ballets? For example, The Nutcracker, Swan Lake, Sleeping Beauty. By the way, I do have an easy version of Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy from The Nutcracker. You can see it over here or over here, <laughs> wherever it shows up for you. Go take a look. So Tchaikovsky did basically everything and he did it very well. Why do we love him so much? Well, a few things. Number one, he's got gorgeous melodies, and his melodies combine um, aspects of Russian folk music as well as what we consider Western classical music from Europe. So he took elements of both types of music and he combined them for a unique expression of melodies and harmonies. So his harmonies are kind of unexpected in a good way. <laughs> and um, they tug at the heartstrings. So we tend to really love to hear his melodies combined with his harmonies. The way that he used the instruments in the orchestra, he did what's called doubling, which is two different instruments playing the melody at the same time. And so the instruments that he uses combine to create a whole new sound of a, a complete orchestra rather than you're just hearing the timbres of individual instruments. So he had a really great ear for orchestration. Now many of our most beloved composers had tragic lives and Tchaikovsky is no exception. When he was 10 years old he was sent 800 miles away to a boarding school separated from his family so that he could learn a trade or a, a profession that would help him to be able to support himself. <laughs> Spoiler alert! he ended up being a composer and not what he was trained for in school. So the separation from his family coupled with his mother dying when he was 14 from cholera um, left some really deep and traumatic wounds in him that lasted in his whole life. So one thing that was really hard for him to deal with was that he was a homosexual in a time and a place where that was not acceptable. So he basically had to um, kind of have a secret life. So an interesting thing about Tchaikovsky was that he had a patron. A patron was and is someone who supports an artist financially so that that artist can continue to do their work. By the way, if you'd like to help with this channel, I have a PayPal link below. You can also be a patron. So this patron was a wealthy widow and for 13 years, she provided uh, Tchaikovsky with an annual income that was quite large. And that allowed him to focus all his time on composing. And the funny thing was that they had both agreed that they would never meet in person. But they did write to each other constantly, 1,200 letters, which um, she had asked that he destroy uh, when she died. But thank goodness he didn't because now we have those letters. And we can read they were the best of friends who agreed never to meet, except that they actually did meet one time in person by accident. They didn't speak to one another. They uh, happened to be in the same place at the same time, and they just kind of looked at each other, nodded, and went on their way. So tragically, 13 years into this uh, friendship slash patronage, um, Nadezhda was running out of money. 
and um, she wrote him a letter along with a one-year uh, payment up front saying this is the last time that I can help you. Um, her children wanted her money, whatever was left of it, and they thought it was kind of embarrassing that Tchaikovsky was still accepting money from her even though he didn't really need it anymore because he was doing just fine on his own. She was also very sick. She had tuberculosis. So it was hard for her to write letters to him and um, because their letters had become so intimate, um, she didn't trust other people to write for her. So their relationship ended and this also was really sad for Tchaikovsky. At the age of 53, Tchaikovsky died suddenly. We think it's from cholera, but not sure. If you like this video so far, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So The Seasons is a set of 12 pretty short piano pieces that were commissioned by the editor of a Russian music magazine. And he wanted Tchaikovsky to write one piece um, for each month of the year. And these pieces would appear in the magazine for the readers to play. There are epigraphs for each piece and Tchaikovsky didn't pick those. Um, they were picked by the editor. In case you weren't sure what an epigraph is, it's like a little poem or a description that appears written on the sheet music. The epigraph that um, appears on June, the piece that I'm going to play for you in this video, is by a Russian poet named Alexei Pleshchev. And here's what it says. Let us go to the shore. There the waves will kiss our feet with mysterious sadness. The stars will shine down on us. So June is a barcarolle. What's a barcarolle? A barcarolle is a piece that's written in the style of a traditional folk song that is sung by the Venetian gondoliers as they row you through the canals. And you can really hear that in the melody of this piece. It sounds like it could be sung. Originally, this piece is in G minor. To make it easier to read and to learn and to play, I changed it to A minor, so fewer sharps. Um, and I simplified the left hand and the right hand. If you want to learn it, you can get the sheet music at the link below in the description box. I will also put the link in the comments. By the way, before requesting a piece, please take a look at my channel, do a search. I might actually have it up already. So if you want to see and hear me play my easy piano version of June by Tchaikovsky, then keep watching. That was my easy piano version of Barcarolle by Tchaikovsky. If you liked it, please click the thumbs up, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. 
You can find lots of resources at my website, thepianokeys.com. Join my private Facebook group, Piano Practice Tips, for lots of support from the community. And I'm in there all the time, answering questions and providing feedback on videos. I also have a page on Facebook, The Piano Keys. Once in a while, I post to Instagram, The Piano Keys EPK. Keep practicing, have fun, and I will see you soon. Bye.